Okay, uh, why might a designer choose to use wire rope over nylon webbing? First of all, is it clear what nylon webbing is? Uh, suppose like a rope made of nylon? Yeah, like a rope or a strap, nylon rope. Okay, well, durability and strength. Yeah, okay. Um, nylon... Uh, Nylon webbing is pretty strong. It's probably not quite as strong as wire rope, but it's it's pretty strong. And uh, w when you say durability, what what exactly do you mean by durability? Um, so here we have some photos of a bridge where we could use some wire rope, and it has to endure the weather conditions and the sun. I mean, we're here in Arizona. I'm not sure how well nylon could withstand the sun the sun out here, um, but for the wire rope, it could last. A long time, I suppose. Yeah. A lot longer than an island. Yep, that's a great that's a great point. Exposure to like UV or even in other environments, exposure to certain chemicals or moisture, things like that. Well, even taking it a step further, how easy it is it to cut the nylon easier than the wire? Correct. Yeah. For so sure. it could perhaps prevent terrorists. Yeah. If this were all made of nylon, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Some. Uh, some dumb teenager could come by with a box cutter and cut your your bridge off. <laughs> exactly. So that's what comes to mind. Yeah. Yep. Terrific. Perfect. Okay. So let's see. Um, how would a designer go about evaluating an appropriate pulley diameter to use with his or her wire rope? So let's stop there first and what uh, what how 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 would we go about evaluating? Um, an appropriate pulley diameter to use with a wire rope. What's a pulley diameter? A pulley diameter is, let's uh, sketch it out over here. So let's say we've got um, a pulley, I'm just gonna draw it as a circle. This is our pulley and there's you know a hole in the middle where it spins. What's a pulley? A pulley, okay. A pulley is um, uh, let's say that you see these like in the backstage of a playhouse uh, to like lift curtains or lower props or, or things like that. Um, so let's say that this is our pulley. It's it's green, and then we've got a rope that goes around it. Got it. And typically, you're you're gonna like pull it on one end, and it's gonna have a payload, something it's lifting or lowering on the other end. So the, the pulley diameter is just the, the distance across the pulley, like that. Make sense? That makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, why is it really important for, to know the pulley diameter? Well, it kind of plays into the wire rope a little bit. and um... mm, Excuse me. I would want to make sure that... The rope isn't thick enough so that the rope touches, perhaps. So the diameter has to be wide enough so that the two sides don't touch. Okay. The way a pulley works uh, is it like there's a hard stop on both sides. I mean, it's 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 a constant diameter all, all the way around. So even if your your wire rope is like super thick, you know, it's something like that. Yeah. Okay. There would still be distance in between. Um, this. This is maybe kind of fishing this answer a little bit, but uh, you would need to know what the, the the bend radius of your wire rope is. So I've got some wire rope here, and the bend radius is you know what what radius can you bend that that wire rope and uh, and and have it um, not wear prematurely or or not kink. You know, for example, if if I got down here. And, and really did a, a very tight bend radius. I mean, that's a, a really small bend radius down here. And I let it go. You can see it kinks the wire. Now that was getting down, you know, really small. Um, but manufacturers will provide <coughs> specifications for wire rope. And one of them is going to be its, its bend radius. And, and that bend radius means don't bend the wire around a smaller radius than this. Otherwise, uh, maybe it, it might not necessarily kink, but you're going to apply undue stress 
to the wire rope and that stress will, will cause it to wear or perhaps even fail. Um, yeah. So essentially when you're buying the rope, uh, make sure you look for that radius. What is it called again? The bend radius. And make sure that the pulley is um, what smaller or bigger than bigger. the radius. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so what if, um, what was the second part of that question? Um, if the available pulley diameter is not large enough, what change could be made to the wire rope to accommodate the smaller pulley diameter? Mm, can we go back to the sketch? Mm -hmm. This is what I would do. I would, when we have the pulley and the rope, I would add something to the pulley so it makes the diameter wider and then put the rope on it. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, you might be able to do something like that. You'd have to be really careful that whatever you add to that pulley doesn't change the uh, the performance of the pulley. But yeah, certainly conceptually, that's something you could do. Um, something else you could do is you could simply change the diameter of the wire rope, or maybe not even the diameter, but different wire ropes have different constructions. So if we type into McMaster wire rope... Okay, so this uh, kind of shows you all these different constructions of, of wire ropes. For example, oh, we can't really zoom in very well. Let me just lift this up. So like this guy right here, this is seven strands of solid wire rope. Whereas this one right here is seven bundles where, where each bundle is uh, looks like 19 strands of smaller diameter wire rope. And, and these different constructions have different Ben radii associated with them. Something like this that, that uses bundles of smaller diameter wires will have a smaller possible bend radius than something like this that uses larger, oops, larger diameter um, wires. Okay, so you're saying for, for this one that really had seven smaller ropes that composed the bigger rope, the diameter is going to be uh, wider, like larger, than the one that has uh, little ropes inside of it. Yeah, that's right, as, as a general rule. Yeah. So let's see. Why would one, one want to use a rope that's like this versus the one that has uh, more little ropes inside of it? Mm -hmm. uh, it might be stronger. This one may be stronger? Right, yeah. The one with the larger diameter. Mm, I would think otherwise. I would think that the one that's composed of more little ropes would be stronger. And... Um, I, I, I don't know that with 100% uh, certainty, but I think that the one with the thicker wires is, is actually going to be stronger. Okay. It'll also be a lot stiffer. But... Perfect. Those are all the questions. If you've found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.